Hey guys, what's up? It's once again, it's mp4podcast.com, and I'm showing you a really cool camera application uh, for the iPad and also the iPhone and iPod Touch. This is not a universal application, so there is a different version for the phone and iPod Touch. Now, what Perfectly Clear does, it analyzes the photograph and tries to fix it up as much as possible, okay? Um, and what I like about it is it has a live preview window right here. Now, it fixed up this uh, photograph pretty well. Um, I like it better than the original, but as you can see right here, her shirt is a much more punchier orange. Her skin tone is much more golden. Has that 7 o'clock golden sun as the sun's going down. It looks really nice, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is go into the options right here. We're going to go into skin tones. Now that's going to clean it up a little bit more. And we have perfectly smooth. Now, as you can see right here, what perfectly smooth did... Uh, let me see if I can get that on camera. It, as you, you see that little yellow box on her face, this program uh, detected her face in the photograph. And what, it's gonna, what it does is it softens the face just a little bit. Uh, well, Megan Fox is beautiful, so she doesn't really need this, but you may have people that are older with uh, wrinkles, or you may have uh, somebody who has a, maybe a pimple on their face, and you can soften it up a little bit more. Now, another feature it has, now this wasn't taken a little light, but you don't really have to do it, uh, but there's uh, noise, um, let me see where it is, no, noise removal, just tap right here. And if you're in low light, you can click on noise removal, and what that will do is try and clean up the noise in the photograph, but we don't really need that, so we're going to turn that off. Now, a really cool uh, feature is sharpen. Now, if I move this slider all the way over, I can see so much more detail. I can see her hair so much better. And I'm going to try and bring this up to the camera as much as possible and focus right there on her hair. All right, so let me see if you're going to be able to see this. All right, now that's soft. in that shot. Now that might be pretty hard to see on camera but trust me there is so much more detail in this photograph right now because it was sharpened and it does a really good job sharpening the image. There's also color vibrancy and we can get that a little bit more punchy. You know the contrast we can make that as punchy as we want and the exposure. Um, you know, we'll just click on auto, and auto brings it right over here. But if we want to make it a little bit, add a little bit more um, exposure to it, we can do that as well. There's also tint, and we can tint it a little bit. And the tint is very, I guess, very light because it doesn't want to give it too much of a blue or green push to it, but it's very uh, light. But this is a very good uh, photography application. And just so I can show you, I'm going to go and show you a demonstration of a, something that's a little bit more boring. So I showed you Mer Me Megan Fox because uh, she's really hot and she makes the video a little bit more interesting. I'm going to click take a photograph. I'm going to take a photograph of this right here. And here we go. And now this is going to probably be somewhat, um, I want to get this leveled as much as I uh, can. All right, hold on. So now we have this instant crazy glue, and like again, you probably won't be able to see this that well on camera. But what we're going to do is click use, and now it's cleaning up, and it's taking a while. All right, so what we're going to do is slide over, and it looks a little washed out. I actually like the new version of it. The whites are, are much um, darker a little bit, so they look a little bit more cleaner, and it looks a little bit better. So anyway, let's go into some settings. We're going to click on noise removal. I don't think that really needs it, but maybe it does. All right, so we're going to sharpen this all the way. 
and I can see a huge difference in the sharpness. Huge. It's it's not even funny how much different there is. I can really read the text right here. Vibrancy, we're going to turn the vibrancy up a little bit. Okay. All right. So we're going to move um, that. And you can really see the uh, the, the uh, tint correction working on this photograph because it's, um, I mean, this is a complete white table that I'm on. So it's, it's really, uh, you can really see it a lot more. So we're going to turn that off. And we're going to see this. So we can move this white balance over just a little bit more. And here it's a little bit more blue. And you can set it up however you like it, wherever you like the colors. Um, this doesn't look as, uh, right now it looks a little orangey, slightly because they have a lampshade on the, on the lamp, and that's why it looks a little orangey in the, in the photograph, but I was able to fix it right here. And I'm going to bring up the sharpness just a little bit more and see if you guys can see this. And if you guys can see this, so I'm going to go all the way down. And I'm going to turn it back up. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on camera as well, but trust me at my word, it does a really good sh job sharpening an image. Now, um, the the camera in the uh, the new iPad is actually a pretty good camera. It's not as good as the iPhone 4S camera, but overall it is still a really good camera. You can get a lot of good photographs on it. And I would recommend just having this application on your iPad just because it's so easy to use it's just bang 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 and you, you fix your photographs it's not like you're moving tons of curves now I know how to color correct in Sony Vegas and um, you know like other programs as well and even like you know the Nikon program and Lightroom and stuff like that and you can s spend a lot of time tweaking those photographs just getting them right but this is a nice application for your new iPad you know, that goes along with the camera. I'll leave the link in the description box of this video so you can just click on it and download it with iTunes or simply just search for Perfectly Clear and download the iPad version. Again, the iPhone and iPod Touch version is a different version. Same program, is just that it's not universal. So once again, guys, this is mp4podcast.com. And remember, if this video has helped you, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Take care, everyone. Later, guys. Bye.